the long period under the two imperialisms Islamic and Christian has ended but they have left a powerful legacy behind India became politically free in 1947 but it is ruled by anti-Hindu Hindus the old mental slavery continues and it has yet to win its cultural and intellectual independence India is entering into the second phase of its freedom struggle the struggle for regaining its Hindu identity the new struggle is as difficult as the old one Hindus are disorganized self-alienated morally and ideologically disarmed they lack leadership the Hindu elites have become illiterate about their spiritual heritage and history and indifferent and even hostile towards their religion in fact they love every religion except their own great poverty has overtaken Hindu religious institutions Hindu temples are poor and in great neglect the functionaries connected with these institutions live in abject poverty and they are the poorest section in India the education of Hindus is not in their own hands in fact the teaching of Hinduism has been neglected for centuries and Hindu children grow in complete ignorance of their religion Hinduism is becoming a non-practicing and non-practiced religion India's higher education its academia and media are in the hands of a Hindu hating elite India's history is written by people under the influence of old imperial schools they tell you how Muslims and Christians came as liberators from the shackles of Hinduism Hindus have been kept down too long everyone including the victims think that it is the natural order of things therefore now with the Hindu society is showing some sign of stir there is a great consternation India has been asleep for long and it needed all these knocks and probably it will get more but let us hope that the difficulties would be overcome and Hinduism will come into its own and recover itself nature and regain its natural pride so that it can make its contribution